Folock tutorial. Hi everyone, I'm going to be walking you through a really quick brief faux lock tutorial. So I started with my hair in two strand twists and I'm going to use one piece of Marley hair and fold it in half. From the center I'm going to braid my hair into the Marley hair. So I place my hair in the middle and I use it as the third piece of hair to make the braid that I'm going to use to wrap my hair. Depending on the length or thickness of your hair, you may want to start at different areas. I did find I was getting some slippage, so I did braid closer to the root of my hair. Once I've completely braided the hair and it's secure, I start with another piece of Marley hair and I wrap it around the original two strand twist and the hair that's braided onto my hair. A key factor to remember when wrapping your hair to resemble the locks, you want to make sure you wrap around the base towards your root a few times to make sure it stays secure. However, don't wrap too tight because you don't want too much tension on your hair. Using this method had the locks completely done in about 6 hours, completely flexible, not heavy, and only using 4.5 packs of Marley hair. I showed a picture of the two packs that I used, one in color 27 and one in color 2, which is more of a natural brown. I used the number 27 on the bottom just so my buns would look very interesting from behind and on the perimeter, while I stuck to more to the natural brown in the front and the middle part of my head. Once you've gotten to the end or the desired length, you want to start by folding the bottom piece, the longest hair, upward and wrapping it around itself going towards an upward motion. Once you have a nice little lock bud, as I like to call it, you're going to want to seal the end with a lighter. Okay, be careful not to burn your fingers. I tend to run it over for a few seconds, blowing out any flames that may catch. And then I rub the hair together to get rid of any frizz and to mold the hair together in the shape that I want. A nice lock bud end that doesn't unravel or come untwisted. And there you have your sealed lock looking amazing. I'm going to show you one more time how I did it just so you can follow along and get a good idea. And there you have it. You are locked and ready to go, looking fabulous with your amazing protective style. Now I'm going to briefly show you how I maintain the locks and make sure there's no sticking together or frizzing or getting rid of any frizzes that I do get over time with uh, sleeping on the hair or just natural environment uh, life. So I use Hydrotherma's Follicle Hair Mist to mist my hair on my scalp. And I use their oil to help seal the moisture into the faux locks. After I've spritzed my actual hair, I take the lighter and run it briefly over any frizz that I see on the faux locks. It doesn't have to be too extensive. I usually just go up once or twice. You want to make sure not to go up too high and burn your actual real hair. Remember, a natural faux lock look is going to be a little fuzzy and messy. I spritz the hair with the follicle mist and seal with the oil, and that's it to the maintenance.